Hello, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here, back again with another video. Oh, I wish it would unfocus. It's so much prettier when it's unfocused. Like, you know, when you want to have it focused, it won't focus. But then if you want it to unfocus, it won't. All right. This is a chain that I pulled out before. It is very long. It is very nice. And it is very much a Brighton chain. And it's got the double, the double uh, clasp on it. So it is, um, let's see, it is 36 inches long and this is the thing I was looking for it is cat's eye it is very cool it is perfect for on here so we're going to add this on come on undo there we go Let's put this on here. Very, very nice. I think they go really, really nice together. And yeah, what do you think? I think they go perfect together. This is not a uh, Brighton, but it goes really nice with the chain. So we're going to do this for 18. Because the chain by itself is worth that. And this is very heavy. Uh, I'm shocked that it's not marked with anything. Okay, so we'll do that one. Then in we got this one. We gotta change. We gotta. I'm gonna say Lucite. I don't think it's Bakelite. This one's interesting. This one is cut. Are they cut or are they inlaid? I can't tell. It looks to me like they're cut in. Maybe. Or they're pressed in when it's still like wet. I don't, I can't tell. We're going to do this one for four. Oh my. Oh boy. Oh hey, somebody was asking me about this. And I can't for the life of me remember who it was. Oh my gosh, I hope you're watching whoever you are. I have this one. I have the kitty with the bird. With the blue bird. Um, and then I have... I have the other one. Oh wait, they're the same. I think the yellow birds are gone. I have two of these, the cat with the, with the blue bird. This one looks like he fell off his perch. He flipped around. And this one is still on his perch. So, <laughs> we'll do the busted one for a buck. And then this one we'll do for four. And I don't remember who it was that wanted this. And her eyes are still there. Her uh, sparkly eyes. So that one's four. And this one's one. She's still got both of her eyes too. I don't know how you would uh, fix this. I don't think you can. It's, oh look. Oh, looked like it was back up there for a second. No, I don't know. I don't know. Ugh, one and four, I guess. 
This I'm unsure of. This I need to... Ugh, I don't know. I'm gonna call it Lucite. Still, Lucite's pretty cool, so we'll do that for five. We got some stuff tangled up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This looks like bone. It's carved. No, I think it's it's made to look like bone. I don't think it is. It's brass. Brass and faux bone. Really nice looking though. This is real pretty. Medallion necklace. I like medallion necklaces. I think they're pretty. I like this brass and cream color. We're going to do... This one is 26 inches and the medallion is 2 inches. We'll do this one for six. That kind of goes good with that lucite piece. This is not sure what cork, maybe, maybe baby. It feels really nice. It needs something though. It like needs a big medallion, another medallion. <laughs> It doesn't have one, so we'll do it for two. Nay. Ooh. See, now this is what I'm talking about. This is wood and glass in blue. And then it has coconut shell with inlay. Yeah, this has got aluminum wire inlaid in it. It's really neat. This one is co mostly coconut shell. Very cool. I love the shades of blue. And this is like lizard skin with snake skin with a blue dye job underneath. Underneath some uh, acrylic. Very cool. I'm going to do this one for six. It's really different. Um, let's see what we got. Yeah. Another, <laughs> another small statement necklace. If I can get it untangled. That, come on. There we go. It's like butter colored. On brass. We'll do that for two. That kind of goes with that big bracelet, too. This, ooh, there you go. This is a little inlay with shell and mother of pearl. Tiny little thing. It's a seven. It fits me perfectly. So that's a seven. We'll do that for three. This one is bone. Bone inlay. It looks like it's seen better days. Like, but I like it. It's kind of rustic. We'll do that for three. Rustic. Rustic. Oh, oh, look. There's stuff that goes together. I have three little necklaces that match. Not that. We have this one that is vintage. Freeform beads. 60s plastic. We have this one with the iridescent green plastic fused from the wartime era. And then we have this to bring it all together. 
it's a really cool um, molded molded plastic beads it's got some free form in there and we're going to do these three very cool these three for uh let's do these three for six vintage plastics very cool all right i hope everybody's having a good week i am still at monday night <laughs> i'm speaking to you from the past time travel yo um yeah this one Oop, yeah that one this is cool it's black metal black metal i would do the voice but i can it would wreck my throat <laughs> black metal anyway it's black metal and um acrylic rondelles faceted rondelles that's a neat one you wear that one and then you put something a little more striking up above it yeah 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 do that for four four dollar four dollar this is different. This is very, very vintage. Look at that. And it's got this little... It's weird. It's like this part is green and this part is blue. And for some reason, I don't think they go together. But it's it, they're both interesting. Um, this would look pretty on a gold tone chain, but... Eh, we'll do that for two. You can always take it apart. Ooh. This, this one. No, I'm very shocked that it is not. I thought it was a, um, a J. Crew. It's shades of mint green. Oh, wow. That looks like the same color, doesn't it? This is periwinkle, and this is a mint green. I don't know why it's coming out teal. I still keep thinking I need to fix my color balance on this thing. Because that is definitely not the colors. Think mint, mint green for this part. It's really pretty. I like the combination of colors. Um, we're going to do this one for four. crab claws <laughs> that's cute I love that I should wear that because I live on the border between Maryland and Pennsylvania or Maryland and Delaware practically that is so cool I'm going to do that for five oh we got a chico 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 really cool uh, enamel job Chico's it's got some golden wire and some leather and it's very understated and sleek we will do this one for five sleek this is purple shell on brass, no markings. Let's see what we got for the did it is. It's two and a half. Let's see what we got for this one. <laughs> this one is almost three. It's two and three quarters. And this one, keep forgetting to measure these. Two and a quarter. little more than two and a half. And what's this last one? This 
one is just a hair under two and three quarters as well. So there's that. And then there's this. This is coconut shell. Coconut shell. In shades of teal and green. Do that for two. Two. Oh boy. We got a got another one of these. This is black mesh with little rhinestones inside and black stones. That's cool. That would look neat with a, a nice pendant on it as well. Sweet. And then we have this. Oh, hey, that's on there too, isn't it? Let's see. Come on. Okay, here we go. Wow. That threw me for a second. Come on, don't be... Don't be like that. Alright. It needs a little bit of untangling. But it's brass. Okay, and then it's got this really larger scale cup chain, a couple of brass chains, some pearls, a bigger brass chain, and some faceted plastic at the bottom. It is one, two, three, four, five strands. It's one to five. One going down to five. Another one that would be really awesome with a really, because it's long enough that you could wear something striking above it and then wear this underneath. I'm um, going to do this one for eight. It feels like quality. Quality. Oh, we got some hemp stuff in here. Uh-oh. Hempy, hempy. If you're into hemp, I'll give you all of it. Let's see. Do we have any more hemp? No? Nope, no more hemp. We have this one that is... Chakra colors, really nicely made, not frayed at all, looks like it's never been worn. There's that one, and then we have this one that has a one of those. That looks a little more worn. We have this one. That looks a little more worn, but it's got a nice Hamza upon it. And then there's this one with the shells and the purple beads. So we'll do all of these hempy hemp ones for uh, two dollars. And these little beads, these are the kind that kind of glow in the dark or glow under light. See, they look like that. And then when you turn the light on, it's a rave, baby. Okay. <laughs> we'll do all of those for two. Oh, here's a neat one. Thratchy. And it is, uh, looks like basket weave and then it's got some other wood it's inlaid it's really different i love it i think i got 
somebody wanted did I don't know if I sold those or not. Um, there were some bangles that were like this that I had up for sale the other day. It's very cool. And this here, it almost looks like a photograph of something. So I think they might be like decoupage or something. Cute. Three dollars? Different. Yeah, it's all tangled up. Oh, look at these. These are cute. We got a little pair of sparkly skates. Do you have any granddaughters that ice skate? Or were you a skater in your past life? They're heavy too. Well, not heavy, heavy, but they're substantial. And this one has a bead stuck inside it. I need a pin. <laughs> what the heck? I need a pin. Do I have a pin? Uh, you could have a pin here anywhere. Sorry for the yawnings. Yawnings. But we'll pop that out of there if anybody wants these for $2. <laughs> Okay, what have we here? NCIS, somebody's a fan of NCIS. I have not ever watched that show. Oh, this one's looking like it's splitting a little bit. We'll do that for a dollar. We have, ooh, another big magnet. Look at this. Ooh. Let's see. We've got bronze here. Gold tone, silver tone, and black. Oh, that's nice. Ouch. Pinch me. Really pretty. Let's see how long it is. It's eight and a skoosh. Eight and an eighth. We're going to do that one for seven. That's beautiful. Oh, this way. <laughs> oh. eh. There. <laughs> oh, here's another. Uh... Eh. Bunch of stuff tangled up. Alright. This one is another it's like a sand cloisonne type Lee Sands looking flower. The same kind of stuff he does. Uh really pretty colors I'm gonna do this one for four this is a choker with nothing on it eh. Eh. there we go three strands of ow man yeah that's it had four on it. Look at that. That's stabby. Never mind. That's not for sale. <laughs> Screw that. Yikes. Here's some more coconut shell. Peace sign. One suede. Faux suede. It's just a tie on. We'll do that for a dollar. One dollar. One dollar. Ooh. Sparkly. Wait, what did I see? Oh, I don't think I have both of these. That's a shame. These guys. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. But I think I'm missing the other one. 
If you want a single that looks like that, you can have it for a dollar. <laughs> okay, what have we here? We have... This needs to be wiped. Let me see if I can clean it up a little. Hmm, looks like it's been braided a little bit. It's also missing this one. So we'll do that for a dollar. Just for the elements that may be usable. This is interesting. Leather. It's definitely leather. You can just tell. It just feels so nice. It does not have a name on it anywhere. But it's like braided leather and chain. Really cool. We'll do that for six. We have a little shell. Look at him. Seahorse with potato pearls and shell and fiber optic. Some more pearls. And this one is not magnetic, it's a screw. Little mermaid necklace. That's cute. We'll do that for two. Here's some cat's eye. In like a brownish purplish. With a nice old brass barrel clasp. That's probably a 14 inch. We'll do that for three. Oh, look at this. Oh, what are you? Um, I don't know. I have to put that one aside and look it up. Here's a horsehair bracelet that says, trust in your dreams. It's a little bit ratty. Oh, it's a shame. One dollar. One dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar. What is this? This is red and coral colored plastic beads. And then it's got three pretty little wood beads on there too. We're going to do that for two. This is a little plastic crystal with a Shambhala. Do that for a dollar. This is nice. This is leather with a hook. Eh. The hook. With a hook. The hook doesn't want to work. I just have to open it up just a smidge. Just a smidge. There you go. Braided leather. We'll do that for two. This is a yucky piece of string with a little hematite jumping dolphin. There's a dollar for the dolphin. One dollar. Oh, look at you. You're cool. I don't know what these are. But I know they got little shells on them. That's very, looks like, you've been to the islands. To the islands. When I went to Jamaica, I got a funny, funny story from when I went to Jamaica. <laughs> First thing off the plane, the guy says, want to buy ganja? Yeah, well, I'm not buying ganja at the stinking airport today. All right, so third day in, we're walking on the beach, and then we're in the water. And this guy comes up in a snorkel mask. 
nothing but a plum smuggler. We're, we're nothing but a plum smuggler. And he says, you want to buy ganja? <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I don't know where you're keeping it, but no thanks. <laughs> oh, man. And yes, we did buy some ganja at one point. Uh, yeah. And it was the strongest weed. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, that was the beginning of my not being able to smoke weed anymore because <sighs> paranoia like nobody's business. And that was back when, that was back when I smoked it all the time. Um, yeah, I don't now. Hubs does because medical. Medical, yay, medical. I just wish I could, for, for the stuff wrong with me, I wish I could. But there's always CBD for me. Anyway, this is our last piece. We're at 30. Not that you needed a piece. A, a, a marijuana story from me but whatever <laughs> have a great weekend i hope you do i hope i do um i love y'all and uh please leave a like subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment in the down there because i love to read your comments um if you see something you can't live without leave a timestamp in the comments below of the item in which you're interested or you can send that same information to my email, which is in my description. But if you do that, include the title of the video and the date that it was posted so that I can find your items and get them all sorted out for you. And if you haven't bought from me before, include your name, your address, your PayPal email, and your YouTube name. Uh, that way I can match up your names, get your invoice in the mail to you, or get your invoice out to you and get your items in the mail to you as soon as possible. Remember that I love each and every one of you. Have a great weekend and be yourself because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.